Breaking news! Time is passing, and things are hectic behind the scenes. In the last few hours we received news of a change in the team. I'll tell you all the details, but first make sure you've already pressed the like button if you're an older Falcons fan 30 years old. Now let's get to the news! Alright, let's get into it! Today our beloved team made a decision, and it's already got people talking, as the Falcons released outside linebacker Ade Ogundiji. This move marks the end of Ogundiji's time in Atlanta, as he was selected in the 2021 NFL Draft. With the installation of the new coaching staff, it was expected that we would see some changes in the squad. While the Falcons have maintained a surprising amount of roster continuity, changes like this have always been on the horizon as the team prepares for next season. Ogundiji, who was once seen as a key piece of our defense and a full-time starter in 2022, unfortunately missed the entire 2023 season due to a training camp injury. He was hoping to solidify his role after a decent second season, but faced stiff competition this year with the additions of Braulin Trice, James Smith-Williams, and Bradley Anai to the position group. Coach Raheem Morris and his team have established a solid rotation with players like Lorenzo Carter, Arnold Ebiketti, and the new additions. With this depth, it appears the Falcons weren't optimistic about Ogundiji securing a spot. The move saves the team around $2 million, according to Over the Cap, and opens up a roster spot for another potential addition. During his time with the Falcons, Ogundiji played in 32 games, starting 27 of them. He recorded 75 tackles, 3 sacks, and 8 missed tackles. He has also contributed significantly on special teams the past two seasons. Despite the release, Ogundiji's youth and starting experience should make him an attractive option for other teams if he is fully healthy. There's speculation that Ryan Nielsen's Jaguars could be interested if Nielsen liked what he saw from Ogundiji during his time with the Falcons. What do you think, Falcons fans? Was this the right move for the team? And who do you think can fill this newly opened position? Leave your opinion in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe for more updates and insights on all things Falcons. Thanks for watching, and as always, rise up!